Hi, I'm Miss Hanlon from St. Kevin's Community College in Dunlavin. Um, our well-read journey started last year when we realised our library needed to be refurbished as many of the books were completely outdated. So we got all the students involved and they chose what books they wanted in there and they decorated it. And once that was done we realised we had to find a way of getting the students in and getting them reading. So the library project turned out to be kind of a stepping stone to our well-read journey. Um, it spawned initiatives like Drop Everything and Read, First Year Reading Passports and a huge celebration of World Book Day, which we do every year now. Um, as we continued on we realised that there were so many initiatives that it wasn't just about creating a reading culture within our English classes, it would have to go out to the whole school and eventually our community. So we enlisted the help of various different departments. The learning support departments have been involved hugely, the language departments and many practical subjects. Um, the reading culture has even rubbed off on the staff and we've had a very successful staff book club for the past two years. Um, I suppose the highlights for me would have been the TYs getting involved in the primary school and they've gone out into their community and they've really generated an interest in books and reading and storytelling to a younger audience, which I think was brilliant. And then our huge event that we had this year, which was One Book, One Community, where we were lucky enough to have Mar Marilyn Taylor, the author of Far Away Home, come in and address parents and teachers, our own students and the primary school. Um, there is many more things happening in our school and I hope you'll be interested in hearing about it and I'll let the students tell you themselves. Thank you. Hi, my name is Guy Pegarty. I am part of St. Kevin, Kevin's Community College here in the Lavin. Uh, here with, in first year and primary school surrounding the village, we took part in one book one community event which brought uh, Marilyn Taylor, the author of Far Away Home here to the school, to discuss topics from the book she wrote and her inspiration behind it. I wrote a poem which I based on her writing for the novel and I had to, I had to stand up and read it in front of parents, teachers and students alike who have already read the book and I have read the book at least four or five times at this point and I have to say I heavily enjoyed it every time. Hi, I'm Orla. Our school got to take part in one book, one community about Far Away Home. I wrote and performed a play with my friends uh, in front of the author, the primary school and our classmates. It was, I was very, we were very nervous but it was fun to see what she would react like to it. My name's Katie and me and Leisha are our first years and at the start of the year we got our reading passports and um, every time we read a book we have to put it in to our reading passport. So. Um, and this year there was a, um, a debate competition in first year and I was part of the winning team and um, we wrote our debates and we performed them in front of the principal, the vice principal and uh, the rest of first year, first year and the, uh, all the English teachers. Uh, I like the way we got to decorate our reading passports in the back and the front and um, that there's different sections for each book. Uh, such as like fantasy and uh, adventure. And when I was doing the debate, we had to research a lot for the motion, and we had to we learned how to find information to help us with our debates and to perform them better than we usually would. Hi, my name is Daisy Summer, and my name is Trevor Allen. We took part in the reading passport this year. We, we read a lot more books than we usually read from all different types, such as mystery, non-fiction and fiction. Um, every time you read a book you get a merit for reading it, and that really encouraged us to read more books this year. Hi, my name is Sean, and I won the Who is Reading What Quiz in the school. And the Who is Reading What Quiz is where they put pictures of books on the wall and they gave you sheets of paper with teachers names on it and you had to get match the teacher to the book and how I won it was I researched the book online and pointed out like where the teacher 
like personality came into where the book how it like connected and it made me really think about how the teacher like what my teachers are reading and Our second year JCSP class done the Make a Book project. Each person in the class had to do an individual chapter. We went to an exhibition in Dunleary to show off our good work to everyone else. After that we went to explore other people's projects and see the work they put into it. The experience was very good. We learned about the work that has to be put into making a book and we were proud of the book we created. Hi, my name is Hannah Doyle and I'm a TY. And my name is Anna Conway and I'm a TY as well. And we went down and uh, read stories with props to the primary school kids in our area, the two different schools. Uh, so a few of us went down and Hannah read the books and then I played with the props with a few of the other girls. And we did it for the junior infants. Yeah, and then we um, those are those two different schools, so some days we go to one school and the next day we go to the other. And um, at some stage we would write a book and we would show the pages to all the kids and let them play with the toys and everything because the toys reflect all the characters in the story, which we all think helped like with the story as well. So the students like got to play with the little toys and everything, which made the story sort of come to life with them. And um, <coughs> we think uh, we think it was just really good that we got to do that as well. Yeah, we really enjoyed it, getting to go and talk to the small kids. Hi, my name is Hannah Bostrom. Uh, hi, I'm Gemma Malloy. Um, and we're both students from St. Kevin's uh, Community College and we're in fifth year. Yeah. Uh, we've been part of many activities um, when it comes to reading, uh, for example, uh, Drop Everything and Read, which um, we had only a few weeks ago, where um, in tutorial class um, it was extended, so we had, I think, about 40 minutes it was yeah. to um, bring in a book and to read. Um, I think it's a great thing to have in school, because nowadays students, you know, they're on their phones all the time, or they're too busy studying to enjoy literature. There's so much out there to read. so. It's great that um, we could, you know, have time designated in school to do this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, another initiative we did was we made fairy tales in French, so we created our own. This is my one. <laughs> um, and basically, our teacher just she challenged us to write a fairy tale and make it in a book in a different language than English to explore all aspects of literature, and it was very interesting and fun. Um, also, other people in class did um, different stories and we had to make them up and it didn't have to be a normal fairy tale, it could be where, say, for example, the princess saved the prince or so. Um, I have a book as well and they're now available um, in the library for people to read in their free time. My name's Lou. My name's Emma. And uh, we're part of the Needles Art Play programme in uh, Glavon. Um, last year we did uh, make a book for labour and for JCSP and we had to do different type, like different classes to help us do this. So we had our English and woodwork, which like English would help us to do the book and woodwork to present the book. Uh, we also use the library to uh, do different events. We done a Mad Hatters tea party last year and this year we done a Halloween themed day where parents and students could come in and look around the library and look at what books was available for people to read. So last year um, our library wasn't being as used as much as it could have been and should have been so uh, a bunch of us TYs decided that we would, with the help of our teacher, refurbish it and do it up. So we made a list from all of the students of what books they would like to read and what they would like in our library and we got them and then we painted the walls and we rearranged the shelves and we put quotes on the walls and we got new furniture and it's a lot better now than it was before.
I've actually been involved in a lot of initiatives to promote literacy and reading in this school. So I was involved in the Poetry Aloud competition, which is held in the National Library every year, and it's a competition for reciting poetry and speaking poetry. Uh, because of that, I was asked to judge in the first year debate competition that's been going for three years now in this school, and it was, it was really cool. Uh, this year I did a cross-curricular word of the week. Basically every once a week I go into the school's main office and read over the intercom different words to try and get people's vocabulary extended and just think about what, how they can use the words and to get them thinking when they're in English or uh, any other class to just get them to use new words and kind of explore what they can say in essays and even in when they're speaking to people and texting and all this different stuff so that way they're not just using the same words over and over again.